Hello and welcome back to Malahide Castle. Some of you will remember when we were here doing all the stations island that I made a very very whistle stop visit to the castle. Today we have more time so we're going to take a look inside on a guided tour and we're going to walk around the gardens. Now there's been a castle here at Malahide since the end of the 12th century when Henry II granted land to the Talbot family. The Talbots were very loyal Norman knights but what were the Normans doing in Ireland in the first place? By the turn of the 6th century, Ireland was roughly divided into seven kingdoms, each with their own leaders and dominating dynasties. In 1166, Dermot Mac Macada, the King of Leinster, is forced to flee his lands by the then High King of Ireland, Rory O'Connor. Mac Macada heads to England, where he speaks to Henry II and asks for help to regain his lands. Henry agrees that he can gather an army from among any of his willing knights to help him. In 1167, Mac Macada returns to Ireland with his army of Anglo-Norman knights. It takes two years, but eventually they succeed in reclaiming his original lands, including the city of Dublin. The Norman knights who played a key role in this success are given settlements within the conquered lands, and understanding their position as invaders to an unknown country, they fortify themselves in the only way they know how, by building castles. So the very first castle that the Talbot family built here was a very simple wooden motte and bailey and then much later in the 1400s they began to build the castle in stone. Remains of that first castle can be seen today but I think it's now time for us to have a proper look around. We have our ticket. You can only go around the castle itself uh, via a guided tour. So it's, it's our time, we have to go in. The guided tour lasts just over 45 minutes and is led by an expert and entertaining guide. Some of the most important historical events in our history. Tours are available all year round and also get you access to the garden, fairy trail and butterfly house. On the tour, you get to visit all the private rooms and see the furniture and art collection and hear tales of banquets and battles through over 800 years of history. The distribution of this colour right across Ireland, colour back then was a rarity. And after the tour, it's time to explore the gardens. So on the west lawn of the castle is the Fairy Trail. And the first stop says, please remember to be respectful of our fairies and their woodland friends. Always be respectful of the fairies. That's so cute. The fairy trail contains sculptures, fairy houses, and is perfect for families with children. Just got a little glimpse of the land train. It runs around the, the gardens and the park here. <laughs> Gonna have to straighten this up and perched on a dragon egg, obviously. Fairies are the only spirits to inhabit the grounds here at Malahide. It is said that the castle is home to a number of ghosts, and perhaps the most malevolent of those is that of Miles Corbett, who was once the right hand man of Oliver Cromwell and one of the signatories of the death warrant of Charles I. Now, Corbett lived here during England's brief period as a Commonwealth, but once Charles II was restored to the English throne as a punishment for the part that he played in Charles I's death. He was hung, drawn and courted.
with the exception of a handful of years during the reign of Oliver Cromwell and the Commonwealth, members of the Talbot family have lived at Malahide Castle for almost 800 years. The very last member of the family to inherit the estate was Milo Talbot in the 1940s. Milo had a career in the British Secret Service and some suspect him of maybe being a Soviet spy. But it's Milo who we have to thank for the wonderful gardens which you can explore here at Malahide. Milo was a keen gardener and an enthusiastic botanist and it's thought there are somewhere in the region of four and a half thousand plant specimens which he introduced to the estate. I popped into the glass house to look at all the variety of plants more closely and once I'd done that it was on to the butterfly house to get up close with those beautiful insects. Dublin.